Welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 1st of April. The local media headlines today. And I promise that this is not an April Fool's Day joke. It is a fact that yesterday Cornwall Council closed Falmouth's Leisure Centre without any clear idea of what it's going to do with the empty building and no plans for alternative provision. However, some county hall officials have been quite openly speculating for seven years that there's a pretty penny to be made by talking to property developers, particularly those who build luxury houses. If you thought you'd heard the last of this story, you were wrong. There's relatively good news about Covid insofar as Cornwall's numbers are now coming down, although they are still very high compared with the rest of the country. The South East Cornwall MP Cheryl Murray wants Britain to celebrate a Margaret Thatcher Day. There won't, after all, be any car parking charges, at least not yet, at Tahiti Woods after a council U-turn, and motorists who use a country lane over a narrow medieval bridge at Helland in North Cornwall could have to wait months for it to be repaired. It's been closed since December. The St Ives Times and Echo is out this morning and leads with what it hopes will be the final chapter of a long-running planning saga. A large parcel of land on the edge of town had been earmarked for holiday homes and a hotel. There was quite a reaction in Wadebridge to Pirate FM's news that police had found several machetes, axes and a knuckle duster when they carried out a drugs raid. Good to know that the mean streets of Wadebridge are now a little safer. And finally, Cornwall Live has more about people who do cooking on telly. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.